For more on this, let's bring in Bill McKern. He is a Main Street columnist for The Wall Street Journal, former chief speechwriter for George W. Bush and a Fox News contributor. Uh, I'll ask you where this goes next first, Bill. Yeah, well, I, I think I think we're not sure. We have to see what's, uh, what's going to come down. I, I don't think anyone knows where it's going next. Okay, so Bill, I want to get to Tom Cotton. Um, the senator uh, was on earlier this morning, and he was talking about the impact that President Trump can have on these elections in Georgia. That means so much, obviously, for the country. Watch. Right. I think the president will have a very positive impact in Georgia. Just look across the country. He got 10 million more votes than he did in 2016. Remarkable turnout. And that helped Republicans win the Senate seats that we did, and it helped us gain House seats against all the expectations of the Democrats and the media. We had a huge election in the Senate and the House and state legislatures, not in spite of the president, but because of the president. Do you see it the same, that the president will have a positive impact on the state with these I, elections I, coming up? Yeah, I uh, yeah uh, I agree with uh, Senator Cotton. When I said we don't know, a lot of this depends on what choice Donald Trump makes. Uh, there's a split in the Republican Party in Georgia. Some people say that that the uh, the governor and the secretary of state aren't doing enough to help Donald Trump in his recount, and that Republicans should take their revenge by not voting for Senators Loeffler and Purdue. If Donald Trump chooses to make that an issue, which it looks like he's going to do, in other words, to go down there and say, as he said in his tweets, that we need these two senators, I think it'll make a big difference. I think the Trump voters are waiting to get the signal from the president to go down. And I don't I don't think that they will boycott if the president tells them not to. And it's crucial for the president for his own legacy, because, look, Joe Biden campaigned on basically the idea that he's the anti-Trump. And when he gets in, he's going to undo everything Donald Trump has done. If Donald Trump can keep the Republican Senate, he keeps a major obstacle to that. Really important. You're pointing out something you're writing about, um, that there's more at stake here than just what happens with the Senate elections in Georgia. But the legacy of the president is what you're writing about. Trump's march to Atlanta in The Wall Street Journal. No one has a bigger stake in keeping the Senate Republican than the president. You say Biden and the Democrats campaigned on a clear theme. We're the anti-Trump party. And when we get power, our goal will be to undo everything we did, as you just mentioned, Bill. Right now, Mitch McConnell is, the, is their most formidable obstacle. And keeping him Senate, the Senate Majority Leader is President Trump's best bet for preserving his own legacy, Bill. Yeah, I think he has the greatest interest. You know, a lot of people are talking about the party's interest. But, uh, you know, he got his tax cuts through, revived the economy, deregulation, three seats on the Supreme Court, um, uh, many, many excellent judges on the federal bench. And the Democrats have made clear that if they can't get this through normal procedures, they're going to try to, you know, stack the court, which would erase his victories on the Supreme Court, perhaps bring in new Democratic states to get more Democratic senators. All this becomes much more difficult if there's a Republican Senate because they're in a position to block them. So I do think that Donald Trump's own achievements are on the chopping block because that's what Joe Biden and the Democrats want to go after. I just want to Everything he's done. I want to finish off with how you end your piece, uh, saying, as Mr. Trump admitted to reporters on Thanksgiving, it's going to be a very hard thing for him to concede, you write, Bill. But Georgia Senate runoffs offer him a twofer. Final thoughts on that. Yeah, the twofer is, one, he could go out on a winning note if he goes down there and really barnstorms like he did in the last three weeks of the campaign and gets these two Republicans in Congress. So he'd go out on a winning note and he'd help, as I said, preserve a lot of his achievements, make it a lot harder for the Democrats to undo everything he did. Bill McGurn from The Wall Street Journal. Bill, thank you. Thanks, Sandra.